Alright guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Altitude Helicopter made by Propel. Now, I saw this at the place that I work at, and I thought it was kind of cool. I don't really have too many helicopters. As you guys know, I have quite a few quadcopters and hexes, but I haven't really gotten into the helicopter aspect of this hobby. So, when I first saw it, I uh, was like, I believed it was a uh, three-channel because it has this back here and everything. And then I would be able to control, you know, my forward motion. But actually, this is just a two-channel, and it's actually quite a good one, too. I actually had to open it up and look at the inside, and there is, like, a molding of an actual motor in the back here. So, I don't know if maybe there's another version of this that comes out with a motor in the back. <clears throat> but the, uh, the model seems like it's all ready to have a third channel back there, if need be. So, on, let's take a look at the box first. Nice, very nice box. I mean, Propel has made some great quality um, RC devices. I really just don't feel like they have their recognition for the stuff that they make. They don't really seem to be a super popular company, to me at least, from what I've heard. This, in particular, one is only sold at Walgreens, or expressly for Walgreens. I don't really know what that means. I would assume for, I would assume it means only at Walgreens, but the box is very glossy and everything. Everything is very nice looking. So, one thing I wanted to show you guys was inside here. Where'd those instructions go? Right down there. So, the, uh, the controller is in the house in the bottom there and the helicopters on top but one thing i want to show you guys is for some of my other models you guys have seen me complain about the um the instruction manuals and stuff and sometimes the instruction manuals aren't even made for the actual rc device that you've got this instruction manual however is absolutely amazing everything is in English. Everything is performs correct sentences in English. It, it's all written specifically for this helicopter. Propel took the time to go ahead and write an instruction manual that is exclusively for this. Everything inside here is going to be about this. There's not going to be anything else for other models or anything. It's only about this one. And I think that's really good. They also include quite a few warranties. Um, there's just some other cards in here, 90 day warranty, <clears throat> and membership thing for their flight club. And uh, it also says that they are happy to help you if you have any broken parts or anything. So that's the uh, instructions which I was extremely impressed with. Now let's take a look at the helicopter itself. It's chrome. It comes in black and silver, I believe. I couldn't find the silver. The black one was there, though. I, I like the red one a little bit better, though. I uh, I opened it up a little while ago because I had a little problem. As you can see, I did a little repair right here. The <clears throat> So on the inside of here, there's two motors, one right here and one right here. And one motor controls the lower blade, and the other one controls the upper blade. And what had happened was the entire shaft had kind of moved down just a little bit. And that's not really a huge problem. All I do is just wrap a little bit of tape around there. And it's, it's good to go. It just moved the gear down just so it wasn't making contact with either of the things. So, with either of the other gears, or the drive gears, so it wasn't actually spinning the propellers. That was the only problem I had with it, though. <clears throat> the props up here, they're on their swivel points, so they're pretty much almost impossible to break. Does it come with extra props? No, it does not. Wait. Yes, it does. It comes with... A set of extra props, however, the decals, like, it doesn't say propel, and it doesn't say the stripes on the extra ones, but it has a full, like, repair set of, like, the screws and all, like, the, the axial stuff up here and all the pivot points and everything. It's got a full repair set of those if you, if you need to. The chrome looks pretty good. I mean, it kind of, it looks very, um, kind of cheaply made, but I, I assure you it's not really. The only thing that kind of threw me was in the back here. You can't really see it, but there is a piece of plastic in there that is shaped exactly like a motor. So it leads me to believe that there was originally designed for a motor to go in there. So 
we got LEDs. The LEDs are pretty amazing. Um, on the back here, the LED is sticking out, as you can see. When I originally got it, it wasn't sticking out. And when I had to open it up, I was like, oh, I might as well just make this stick out anyways because it's supposed to be in there. So yours may or may not be sticking out of there. Um, it doesn't really make a huge difference, though. LEDs are really bright. I'm going to turn the light off here. You got one in the front here, which, um, and then two uh, red and blue in the back. And on the controller, you can actually press, there's a third button on the bottom, and you can turn them on and off with that. But, yep, there it goes. So that's pretty nice. You can turn it on and off. So, yep, there's that. And <clears throat> stunts, there are no stunts. It, it's a two-channel helicopter, so you're basically just going to be flying it. Um, it. It always has forward motion. It's always going forward. You're turning it and stuff, and you constantly have to trim it. But that's kind of one of the, the arts of flying these kind of helicopters is you have to be able to not only control your throttle, but also control your left and right turning. <clears throat> the trims are very good. The LBC warning doesn't really have an LBC warning. It kind of just... You know, there's a small light in the inside that's red, and it's always blinking, regardless of if you have the lights on and off or not. And that means it's on. But the LBC warning, it doesn't really have one. It just kind of slowly loses power until you're not able to take off again. However, I have had flights where it's kind of just dropped, so... LBC warning, I've got mixed thoughts on that, and yeah, but e even if this falls, I mean, it's not really going to take any damage. I've had some pretty nasty crashes with it, and I actually don't see any damage on it whatsoever. The only the only damage that's visible is this one little scratch right here in the chrome, and I, I actually don't even remember what caused that, so that's the only damage. It's a very durable um, two-channel helicopter here. So, that's about it. Um, it is infrared, so you're not going to be flying this outside unless it's nighttime. You're only going to be flying this indoors and with the lights dimmed a little bit because I have had some weird interference from certain lights in my house. I don't really know why it was certain ones in certain rooms. But, uh, you can't order this from their website because I guess it's exclusively for Walgreens or something like that. So, that's where I bought it. <coughs> Controller is pretty generic. Um, one thing that they, I, I think what they're trying to go with with this is they try to trick you into thinking that it's three channel. And overall this thing was like 20 bucks. So it really wasn't that expensive anyways. But the look on the box, they, they obviously make this one. So you can see on both sides. So it's not going left and right. It's going up and down. But this one over here, they don't do that. And it can only go left and right. It can't go up and down. So I, I they, they try to make you think that it's a three channel when it's really a two channel. And it, to be in all fairness, it does say two channel right in the front right here. So, but it does, the, the images on the box to some may look like, may make it look like it's a three channel helicopter. So power button right here, these are not actual buttons on the top. You got your infrared inside here. You can see it flashing on the camera there. You've got A, B, and C um, channels, I guess, so you can fly it, um, fly multiples of them at once. Left and right trim is right here. Once you kind of get it trimmed out the first time, though, you should be fine. And then you have to use this to kind of trim it when you give it throttle and such. There's a light on and off button right here. Charging light down here, and, all, and like most of them, they got the uh, kind of like wire that goes into this little port right here. And you can kind of just shut that and keep your wire in there. I like to keep them out though because I, that's just my personal preference. That's about it. It does take six AA batteries, so it's a big, hefty one. But besides that, there's not really too much to say. One thing I had a little bit of difficulty with was actually finding the charging port on the helicopter. Because it's all chrome and stuff. I actually took me, I had to look in the directions to find it. It is right here in back of this kind of rocket pod thing. And it's not a um, the normal ones. It's kind of like a, a DC input, I guess. So I'll bring it up. So it's not like our normal quadcopters or anything or hexes. It's a very small DC import. 
that goes right into this hole right here and it says charge underneath i just didn't see it the first time around it slides right in doesn't go in all the way though so i don't try to force it in or anything but yeah besides that that's just about it you got seven or eight minute flights and then 25 minute charge times and they tell you that in the book and i timed it and it is pretty much exactly 25 minutes every single time give or take 10 seconds so that's great here is a hyperactives for scale it's pretty small and here is a gyro blade for scale i feel like these are two pretty common rcs that a lot of people will have <clears throat> so it's a little bit bigger than the gyro blade i do have a modified prop on here <laughs> that's a whole nother story but it's a tad bit longer than the gyro blade and uh just Something interesting that I saw, as you can see with most air hogs, the prop pitch is very intense. It, it goes down at a very steep angle. With these, however, it's really honestly not that steep. I'll just show it to you from straight from head on. You look at the prop, that's all that's there. Just that one little lip. It, it's not really steep. Which I'm not really saying is a good thing or a bad thing. It's just something interesting I found to be kind of cool. Another thing is, you can't really see it, but there's a hole in the bottom here. And there it is. That has the, the gears inside, and the gears are huge, so you have a lot of torque on this. So it's very easy to control your actual... um, Kind of like the, uh, the yaw and stuff, the trims. It's very easy to control that, because you do have a nice big gear in the bottom there. However, most people will say, oh, that... that the gear ratio can sometimes make the helicopter not have enough power. This has plenty of power, and even with the low angle props here, it, it still it shoots up. If you give it throttle, it's going to shoot up. It's, it's going to give you... It has plenty of power, which was surprising to me, considering the angle of the props and the gear on the inside. So uh, I'm going to put up a picture of what the insides look like um, soon. And, yeah, that's just pretty much it. <clears throat> Interesting thing. Let's see, is there anything else I want to say? Ah, there was, there's one other video out on this specific helicopter, and it was one of those, like, news, like, not really news, but, like, marketing channel things. And this is the, that's the only video I could find on this specific one. And what they, they tell you is that the props are made out of carbon fiber. Um, as far as I can tell, they're made out of plastic. Like 100% positive they're made out of plastic. It's not like cheap plastic though. It, it's going to stay together. So don't really worry about breaking this one too much. And even if you do, you can open it up and they're really simple inside. They're not, they're not complex or anything. If you have any problem with it, as the instructions clearly say, email them, call them, do, do whatever you got to do, and they will send you pretty much free replacement parts. So, yeah. Oops. So, that, that's just about it. I mean, I was really surprised with the quality of this one, considering where I bought it and every the state that it came in it looked a little sketchy to me to be honest but really ended up being quite a quality purchase i'm very happy with it i fly it pretty often it's not really too loud it's got kind of a quiet noise it, it's very it sounds kind of very like i'll oh, start it up for you it's got a very nice sound But it does downpour a lot of air, as you saw stuff blowing in the back, which I need to clean my desk. But it does downpour a lot of air, and that's obviously a really good thing. If you get this, I guarantee you're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's pretty good for um, kids. It says, what is it saying? It says like 8 plus on the box. But as long as you're monitoring them and you kind of show them like... How the torque works and explain it to them. I, th I think anybody can pretty much handle this. It's really, uh, it also says in the box, uh, 
the skill level beginner it is a very beginner helicopter you're gonna have no problem with this one so this is the altitude helicopter by propel two channel only available at Walgreens apparently uh, I guess it is a special edition because it's only available at Walgreens it cost me twenty dollars I went to the store and bought it I buy it I didn't order it online or anything and yeah I'm overall very pleased with it I didn't expect to be I was kind of skeptical but I stand corrected propel did a very good job with this and I'm really looking forward to reviewing more Propel products in the future. So, yep, nice job, Propel. And if you have an extra 20 bucks and you're at Walgreens and you see one of these, I highly recommend you pick it up. There is one other variant of it that, as far as I know, it's the exact same thing. It's a, uh, it's kind of like a Huey. It doesn't have a futuristic look to it. It looks like a real helicopter. It's kind of like a model of one. I'm pretty sure it essentially does the exact same thing, but yeah, it just has a little bit of a different look. The only one I could find of that is in black, and if you guys are interested, I'll also review that. It did have a different box, though, but I'm pretty sure it was by Propel, so I'll take a look into that. It costs the exact same. It should essentially be the same thing, but if you guys are interested, I'll take a look. So leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment on what I should do next, and uh, have a good day. Alright guys, so um, I'm just going to show you the pictures of what the inside of the altitude looks like. So, here you go, you got, see if, if you've seen the back here, there's like a shell for a motor, it's kind of weird, I don't really understand that, but <clears throat> essentially you got motor right here. Another motor right here. Actually, this is the broken one. Do I have a picture of it fixed? Anyway, so I'll, I'll also explain what happened here. So what happened was this shaft, as you can see right here, is connected to both of these big gears, which are driven by both of these motors and the gears right here. And what had happened was this had gotten pushed down somehow. I don't know really how that happened. I guess it might have landed on top of that or something. It just pushed it down a little bit. And... I just kind of put some tape around here to kind of keep it up, but what happens is this gear is no longer touching this gear, and then this gear is no longer touching this one. So they don't, the props don't spin. But how it should work is this should be pushed up, and then this gear drives this one, this one drives this one. You got kind of this big um, system right here that kind of drives everything. And as you can see right here, there is, uh, this is either for the USB not USB, the LED, or it's for, it might be for another motor, no, I don't think that's for another motor, but this is either where this should go, I put this down here, because the hole fit perfectly around here, and there was also this backstop, kind of, to put that in, because that's where I think it would go, but this might be something that might also have been structural reinforcement, something like that, like maybe there's a pipe that runs through, but... <clears throat> found this to be interesting there's no motor back here I feel like they could have easily like I feel like it was designed for that but got a weight up front here LED in the front big uh, I think this was 150 milliamp and then here's your board with the infrared out the front here it's all it's essentially a very simple helicopter so yeah that's pretty much all there is sorry about the poor quality photo I took this on an iPod four so bear with me however i did just get an lg g5 so you should be seeing canon quality pictures very soon of all my builds and all my uh, rc related stuff <coughs> but as you can see right here it's all it's all quality material it's not it's very well built everything's very well done this is a metal shaft by the way they didn't jip you with plastic or anything i'm actually really interested about what this is supposed to be here for but that's it so that's all there is about this one here's the charging port that's where that is right out to the side there <clears throat> and yeah so as i said before have a great day and forget to like and